on this too for mm -hmm. you. This is uh, this just debuted a week ago. It's a three piece collection. You're going to get three plants. One is your pink lavender. Did you even know there was such a thing? The second <laughs> is your blue lavender. And the third is white lavender. Yes. All fragrant, all hardy. And it's item number M61885. You're getting all three plants for $19.98. If you want to use your cue card on this, you could put it on six easy payments. Yeah. What kind of lavender is this, Stephanie? And what makes Roberta's lavender unique? Absolutely. This is a, um, so there's French and English lavender. Yes. This is a hybrid of both. So you're getting the hardiness of those English lavenders, but oh, then the it. high oil content of the French lavenders. Nice. So, Firstly, I mean, you're looking here at pink, white, and blue oh, budded so lavenders. Before bringing this to QVC, I had never actually known that, that existed because, you know, it's, it's very rare to find these. And that's why we wanted to bring, that's what we do here at Roberta's. We like to find very unique plants that are very hard to find. We bring them for you guys because we want you to have just the coolest garden on the block. Yes. And this lavender will ensure that you have. Oh, it smells so good. It does. It's now, amazing. is this just the foliage that will be fragrant or will the flowers be fragrant too? I love that question because people normally think that it's actually just the flowers, but it also is this evergreen silver foliage, yeah. which I mean, you can just pick so a little bit good. off and it smells so awesome. good. It's um, it's evergreen, the foliage. So you're going to have blooms for you know, up to five, six months during the during the season, nice. during the summer, and then all the other months of the year, it's gonna be that beautiful silvery lavender foliage. So this is hardy in zones five through 10. Down to negative 20. Great, yes, love that. Absolutely. Um, it is deer and rabbit resistant, mm -hmm. attracts butterflies. And um, it deters all sorts of bugs. I have like a long list, ants, aphids, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, um, stink bugs. Ooh. So what I like to do is go outside, cut some, make a little sachet or a bundle, so good. put it along your window sills so that bugs won't come in during the summer months. Yes. Um, it's truly the, the Swiss army of the plant world because it has, it, the, the uses are endless. The size that we're seeing here, mm -hmm. like how, what Let amount me, of growth is this absolutely. compared to what we're being sent? Let staff. me show you what um, you guys are getting. So it's a three piece, you're getting one. Each of them will be tagged so you know just which color it is. I would say what we're seeing here is about second season. Okay. Um, pick up multiple sets. If you're like me, I'm a very impatient gardener. Mm -hmm. I like the big bang like right away. So pick up maybe two sets and put two in your container or um, they do wonderfully in the soil. And what's great about lavender is they're not picky at all. Yeah. If you have an area where your soil is not that great, you don't even have to worry about enriching it or putting um, compost or anything. They'll take that rocky kind of dry soil mm -hmm. and just thrive. Great. Yes. Um, I was going to ask you something and now I can't remember. That's oh, fine. Um, it came to me. Do they like full sun? Do I want to plant this in a full sun area? Lavender loves full sun okay. and um, that just helps bring out those beautiful colors and we'll just ensure in here, you know, I actually lived in France for a year when I went for school and I loved lavender, just seeing all the beautiful uses in your sachets, your potpourris, in your kitchen. You can oh yeah, you can dry. make a simple syrup with it. Absolutely, you know, put or... it in your lavender, or your lavenders, put it in your lemonades. <laughs> lemonade, make yeah. Lavender lemonade. Um, I would love to show you, to make little uh, sachets with you, Jill, up here sure. in the front, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Come around here. I'll... Which way, this way? Yeah, that's fine, no worries. Just. I wanted to show that you can go out, dry them. You're gonna dry cut them off, bind them up, and hang them upside down for a couple of weeks. And then all you have to do is, it couldn't be easier, just twist and look at all of these look at all that. fragrant, fat lavender buds. Honestly, these are called um, fat budded lavenders because the buds are so full of, of oil. And, and look at all that. Oh, and the, the fragrance is unbeatable. For me, it transports me back to France. Oh, it's you so close your good. eyes and you're in Europe. And here, you know, make little, little sachets, sachets. potpourris, put them in your lingerie drawers. Yeah, you um, can put lavender too, like in a coconut oil or something and make your own absolutely. kind of, a, or just find an unscented type of a body oil. Absolutely. And put the lavender in there, yes. lovely. Yes. Um, we're gonna go off to the phones. Great. Um, and I might call Devin over here because we have somebody on the lines who has a question about ice plant. Oh. So let's answer that. We'll say hi to Patricia. Patricia, hi, it's Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi. How are you? I'm terrific. Thanks for calling in tonight, for finding us on QVC2. Oh, thank you. I really have a question. I live in Wyoming. Yes. And it is so cold here. Nothing ever seems to survive. Okay. And so on these ice plants, 
Um, do you think that the Wyoming, you know, the zone here will handle them okay? Are you up in the mountains? Do you... Well, no, we're high desert. We're about 6,000 feet. Okay. So Ooh. we're pretty high. <laughs> so that would probably put you at zone three, I would assume. Do you happen to know off the top of your head? Because I would say you're just on the cusp. Um, the, the ice plant are very winter hardy down to around negative 20 degrees, but I know probably you guys are experiencing even colder than that for at oh, least yeah. a, few, yeah. a few weeks out of the year. So maybe try them in a container um, and that way you can still enjoy them. Okay, and then since, since they come back every year, you just cut them back if you do them in a container instead and then well, they just come back out? In a container, if you have somewhere where you can bring them like a shed or a garage and place them in the middle, it, just for that short period of time where it's at its coldest and then you can put them back outside after that. You don't have to worry about okay. shearing them or cutting them back at all. Yeah, you don't have to cut them back okay. at all. They stay evergreen. Okay, alrighty. Well, I just thought it'd be nice to have them kind of like on a walkway coming up to the house and they just look like they get extremely full. Yeah, they do. They are. They're like a really nice carpet. But to Devin's point, you're kind of right on that border. Yeah, I don't want to say go for it and, and then, then you get disappointed. <laughs> right, right. So may maybe Alrighty. containers, Patricia, to give it a try and see how they Alrighty. do. I mean, the thing to do might be to try it in the container yeah. and see how they survive. And then if they if you're like, these did pretty well, I'm pretty impressed at how they held up in the winter. Then maybe the next year you could come back and try putting them in the ground. Okay. All righty. Well, sounds good. Well, thank you very much. You've had some really beautiful stuff on this evening, and, and we love the things that you bring to us that uh, we can't get anywhere else. Uh, well, we cool. appreciate thank you. you so Thanks much. for tuning in. Thanks so much. Uh-huh. Good evening. All righty. You Bye. too. Good night. So listen, let's revisit uh, this lavender collection because you're getting the blue and the white. When do you ever see white lavender? Very rarely. And the pink. And the pink. So fragrant. Um, M61885, you get all three plants for $19.98. Yep. All right, we're gonna go talk about the Sabi Star. Oh, this is our final item of the show. Oh my gosh. It, by fast. it did oh. go by fast. Uh, 15,000 of these have been requested since it debuted a week ago. So we're